Caesarea Maritima Greek, Paralios Caesarea Paralios Caesarea, also known as Caesarea Palestina, was an ancient city in the Sharon Plain on the coast of the Mediterranean, now in ruins and included in an Israeli national park. The city and harbour were built under Herod the Great during c. 22–10 BC near the site of a former Phoenician naval station known as Stratinos Pyrgos, Stratinos Pyrgos Stratons Tower. It later became the provincial capital of Roman Judea, Roman Syria Palestina and Byzantine Palestina Prima provinces. The city was populated throughout the 1st to 6th centuries AD and became an important early center of Christianity during the Byzantine period, but was mostly abandoned following the Muslim conquest of 640. It was re-fortified by the Crusaders, and finally slighted by the Mamluks in 1265. The name Caesarea was adopted into Arabic as Caesarea Quisarit. The location was all but abandoned in 1800. It was redeveloped into a fishing village by Bosniak Muslim immigrants after 1884, and into a modern town of after 1940, in 1977 incorporated as the municipality of Caesarea Hebrew Kesaria Quarai within Israel's Haifa district, about halfway between the cities of Tel Aviv and Haifa, the ruins of the ancient city, on the coast just about two kilometers south of modern Caesarea, were excavated in the 1950s and 1960s and the site was incorporated into the new Caesarea National Park in 2011. Topic: Classical Era. Topic: Foundation. The site of the former Phoenician naval station was awarded to Herod the Great in 30 BC. Herod built his palace on a promontory jutting out into the sea, with a decorative pool surrounded by stoas. He went on to build a large port and a city, which he named in honor of his patron Caesar Augustus. In the year AD 6, Caesarea became the civilian and military capital of Judea province and the official residence of the Roman procurator Antonius Felix, and prefect Pontius Pilatus. This city is the location of the 1961 discovery of the Pilate Stone, the only archaeological item that mentions the Roman prefect Pontius Pilate, by whose order Jesus was crucified. It is likely that Pilate used it as a base, and only went to Jerusalem when needed. Roman Judea The city was described in detail by the first-century Roman Jewish historian Flavius Josephus. Josephus describes the harbour as being as large as the one at Piraeus, the major harbour of Athens. Remains of the principal buildings erected by Herod and the medieval town are still visible today, including the city walls, the castle and a crusader cathedral and church. Caesarea grew rapidly, becoming the largest city in Judea, with an estimated population of 125,000 over an urban area of 3.7 square kilometers 1.4 square miles. According to Josephus, Caesarea was the scene in AD 26 of a major act of civil disobedience to protest against Pilate's order to plant eagle standards on the Temple Mount of Jerusalem. The Emperor Vespasian raised its status to that of a colonia, with the name Colonia Prima Flavia Augusta Caesarea. According to Josephus, the outbreak of the Jewish revolt of AD 66 was provoked by Greeks of a certain merchant house in Caesarea sacrificing birds in front of a local synagogue. In AD 70, after the Jewish revolt was suppressed, games were held here to celebrate the victory of Titus. Many Jewish captives were brought to Caesarea Maritima. Kasher claims that 2,500 captives were slaughtered in gladiatorial games. After the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70, Caesarea became the provincial capital of the Judea province, before the change of name to Syria Palestina in 135, in the aftermath of the Bar Kokhba revolt. Caesarea was one of four Roman colonies for veterans in the Syria Phoenicia region. Caesarea is mentioned in the 3rd century mosaic of Rehob, with respect to its non Jewish population. <inaudible> Sebastos Harbour When it was built in the 1st century BC, Sebastos Harbour ranked as the largest artificial harbour built in the open sea, enclosing around 100,000 square metres. King Herod built the two jetties of the harbour between 22 and 15 BC, and in 10 9 BC he dedicated the city and harbour to Caesar Sebastos is Greek for Augustus. The pace of construction was impressive considering size and complexity. The breakwaters were made of lime and pozzolana, a type of volcanic ash, set into an underwater concrete. 
Herod imported over 24,000 cubic meters pozzolana from Pozzuoli, Italy, to construct the two breakwaters, the 500 meter long on the south and the 275 meter long on the north. A shipment of this size would have required at least 44 shiploads of 400 tons each. Herod also had 12,000 cubic meters of kerker quarried to make rubble and 12,000 cubic meters of slaked lime mixed with the pozzolana. Architects had to devise a way to lay the wooden forms for the placement of concrete underwater. One technique was to drive stakes into the ground to make a box and then fill it with pozzolana concrete bit by bit. However, this method required many divers to hammer the planks to the stakes underwater and large quantities of pozzolana were necessary. Another technique was a double planking method used in the northern breakwater. On land, carpenters would construct a box with beams and frames on the inside and a watertight, double-planked wall on the outside. This double wall was built with a 23 cm gap between the inner and outer layer. Although the box had no bottom, it was buoyant enough to float out to sea because of the watertight space between the inner and outer walls. Once it was floated into position, pozzolana was poured into the gap between the walls and the box would sink into place on the seafloor and be staked down in the corners. The flooded inside area was then filled by divers bit by bit with pozzolana lime mortar and kirker rubble until it rose above sea level. On the southern breakwater, barge construction was used. The southern side of Sebastos was much more exposed than the northern side, requiring sturdier breakwaters. Instead of using the double planked method filled with rubble, the architects sank barges filled with layers of pozzolana concrete and lime sand mortar. The barges were similar to boxes without lids, and were constructed using mortise and tenon joints, the same technique used in ancient boats, to ensure they remained watertight. The barges were ballasted with 0.5 meters of pozzolana concrete and floated out to their position. With alternating layers, pozzolana-based and lime-based concretes were hand-placed inside the barge to sink it and fill it up to the surface. At its height, Sebastos was one of the most impressive harbors of its time. It had been constructed on a coast that had no natural harbors and served as an important commercial harbor in antiquity, rivaling Cleopatra's harbor at Alexandria. Josephus wrote, although the location was generally unfavorable, Herod contended with the difficulties so well that the solidity of the construction could not be overcome by the sea, and its beauty seemed finished off without impediment, however, there were underlying problems that led to its demise. Studies of the concrete cores of the moles have shown that the concrete was much weaker than similar pozzolana hydraulic concrete used in ancient Italian ports. For unknown reasons, the pozzolana mortar did not adhere as well to the Kirker rubble as it did to other rubble types used in Italian harbors. Small but numerous holes in some of the cores also indicate that the lime was of poor quality and stripped out of the mixture by strong waves before it could set. Also, large lumps of lime were found in all five of the cores studied at Caesarea, which shows that the mixture was not mixed thoroughly. However, stability would not have been seriously affected if the harbor had not been constructed over a geological fault line that runs along the coast. Seismic action gradually took its toll on the breakwaters, causing them to tilt down and settle into the seabed. Also, studies of seabed deposits at Caesarea have shown that a tsunami struck the area sometime during the 1st or 2nd century. Although it is unknown if this tsunami simply damaged or completely destroyed the harbor, it is known that by the 6th century the harbor was unusable and today the jetties lie more than 5 meters underwater. <laughs> Early Christian center According to the Acts of the Apostles, Caesarea was first introduced to Christianity by Philip the Deacon, who later had a house there in which he gave hospitality to Paul the Apostle. It was there that Peter the Apostle came and baptized Cornelius the Centurion and his household, the first time Christian baptism was conferred on Gentiles. When newly converted Paul the Apostle was in danger in Jerusalem, the Christians there accompanied him to Caesarea and sent him off to his native Tarsus. He visited Caesarea between his second and third missionary journeys, and later, as mentioned, stayed several days there with Philip the deacon. Later still, he was a prisoner there for two years before being sent to Rome. In the 3rd century, Origen wrote his Hexapla and other exegetical and theological works while living in Caesarea. The Nicene Creed may have originated in Caesarea. The Apostolic Constitution says that the first bishop of Caesarea was Zacchaeus the Publican, followed by Cornelius, possibly Cornelius the Centurion, and Theophilus, possibly the address of the Gospel of Luke. 
The first bishops considered historically attested are those mentioned by the early church historian Eusebius of Caesarea, himself a bishop of the see in the 4th century. He speaks of a Theophilus who was bishop in the tenth year of Commodus c. 189, of a Theoctistus 216-258, a short-lived Domnus and a Theotechnus, and an Agapius, minus 306. Among the participants in the Synod of Ancyra in 314 was a bishop of Caesarea named Agricolaus, who may have been the immediate predecessor of Eusebius, who does not mention him, or who may have been bishop of a different Caesarea. The immediate successors of Eusebius were Acacius (340–366) and Gelasius of Caesarea (367–372, 380–395). The latter was ousted by the semi-Arian Eusoius between 373 and 379. Lacian gives much information about all of these and about later bishops of Caesarea. Greek Orthodox Church of Jerusalem still has a metropolitan see in Caesarea, currently occupied by Metropolitan Basilios Blotsos, since 1975. The Latin Archbishopric of Caesarea in Palestina was made a Roman Catholic titular see in 1432. Zwitter van Melkite Catholic Church also consider Caesarea a titular see. Theological library Through Origen and especially the scholarly presbyter Pamphilus of Caesarea, an avid collector of books of scripture, the Theological School of Caesarea won a reputation for having the most extensive ecclesiastical library of the time, containing more than 30,000 manuscripts. Gregory Nazianus, Basil the Great, Jerome, and others came to study there. The Caesarean text type is recognized by scholars as one of the earliest New Testament types. The collections of the library suffered during the persecutions under the Emperor Diocletian, but were repaired subsequently by bishops of Caesarea. The library was mentioned in 6th century manuscripts but it may not have survived the capture of Caesarea in 640. <laughs> Byzantine period Caesarea became the capital of the new province of Palestina Prima in 390. As the capital of the province, Caesarea was also the metropolitan see, with ecclesiastical jurisdiction over Jerusalem, when rebuilt after the destruction in the year 70. In 451, however, the Council of Chalcedon established Jerusalem as a patriarchate, with Caesarea as the first of its three subordinate metropolitan sees. Caesarea remained the provincial capital throughout the 5th and 6th centuries. It fell to Sassanid Persia in the Byzantine Sasanian War of 602 628, in 614, and was reconquered by Byzantium in 625, but was lost for good to the Muslim conquest in 640. The fall of the city was allegedly the result of the betrayal of a certain Yusuf, who conducted a party of troops of Muawiyah into the city. The city appears to have been partially destroyed upon its conquest. The 7th century Coptic bishop John of Nikiu claims, The horrors committed in the city of Caesarea in Palestine, while the 9th century historian Al Baladari merely states that the city was reduced. <laughs> Later history <laughs> Arab rule The former Palestina Prima was now administered as Jun Philastin, with the capital first at Ludd and then at Ramla. al d. 892 mentions Khazaria as one of ten cities captured in the conquest of Palestine. The city likely remained inhabited for some time under Arab rule, during the 7th and 8th century, albeit with much reduced population. Archaeological evidence shows a clear destruction layer identified with the conquest of 640, followed by some evidence of renewed settlement in the early Umayyad period. It appears that the harbour remained in use for some time, but it was allowed to silt up and it was unusable by the 9th century. By the 11th century, it appears that the town had once again been developed into a fortified city. Writing in 1047, Nasir i Kusra describes it as a fine city, with running waters, and palm gardens, and orange and citron trees. Its walls are strong, and it has an iron gate. There are fountains that gush out within the city." This is in agreement with William of Tyre's description of the Crusaders' siege in 1101, mentioning catapults and siege engines used against the city fortifications. 
Topic: <laughs> Crusades. Caesarea was retaken by Baldwin I in the wake First Crusade in 1101. Michael the Syrian records that the city was devastated upon its capture. William of Tyre describes the use of catapults and siege towers, and states that the city was taken in an assault after fifteen days of siege and given over to looting and pillaging. He also mentions the discovery of a vessel of the most green color, in the shape of a serving dish. Vas caloris viridissimi, in modum parasitis formatum, which the genus thought to be made of emerald, and accepted as their share of the spoils. This refers to the hexagonal bowl known as the Sacro Catino in Italian, which was brought to Genoa by Guglielmo Embriaco and was later identified as the Holy Chalice. Caesarea was incorporated as a lordship dominion within the Kingdom of Jerusalem, and the Latin See of Caesarea was established, with ten archbishops listed for the period 1101-1266 treated as titular see from 1432-1967. Archbishop Heraclius attended the Third Lateran Council in 1179. Saladin retook the city in 1187, it was recaptured by the Crusaders in 1191. In 1251, Louis IX of France fortified the city, ordering the construction of high walls parts of which are still standing and a deep moat. The city was finally lost in 1265, when it fell to the Mamluks, who destroyed it completely to prevent its re-emergence as a fortress, in line with their practice in other formerly Crusader coastal cities. Topic. Modern period Caesarea lay in ruins until the late 19th century, when the village of Kizaria Arabic, Quisarit the Arabic name for Caesarea was established in 1884 by Bushniks Bosniaks immigrants from Bosnia, who built a small fishing village on the ruins of the Crusader fortress on the coast. In February 1948 the village was conquered by a Palmic unit commanded by Yitzhak Rabin, its people already having fled following an attack by the Lehi. In 1952, a Jewish town of Caesarea was established near the ruins of the old city, which were made into the National Park of Caesarea Maritima. <laughs> Archaeology and reconstruction Archaeological excavations in the 1950s and 1960s uncovered remains from many periods, in particular, a complex of Crusader fortifications and a Roman theater. Other buildings include a temple dedicated to Caesar, a hippodrome rebuilt in the 2nd century as a more conventional theater, the Tiberium, which has a limestone block with a dedicatory inscription. This is the only archaeological find with an inscription mentioning the name, Pontius Pilatus, a double aqueduct that brought water from springs at the foot of Mount Carmel, a boundary wall, and a 200 feet 60 meters wide moat protecting the harbor to the south and west. The harbour was the largest on the eastern Mediterranean coast. The main church, an octagonal martyrian, was built in the 6th century and sited directly upon the podium that had supported a Roman temple, as was a widespread Christian practice. The martyrian was richly paved and surrounded by small radiating enclosures. Archaeologists have recovered some foliate capitals that included representations of the cross. The site, used by Herod for his pagan temple, then reconsecrated as a church, would in time be reoccupied, this time by a mosque. An elaborate government structure contained a basilica with an apse, where magistrates would have sat, for the structure was used as a hall of justice, as fragments of inscriptions detailing the fees that court clerks might claim attest. A well-preserved 6th-century mosaic gold and colored glass table patterned with crosses and rosettes was found in 2005. In 1962, a team of Israeli and American archaeologists discovered in the sand of Caesarea Maritima three small fragments of one Hebrew stone inscription bearing the partial names of places associated with the priestly courses the rest of which had been reconstructed, dated to the 3rd-4th centuries. The uniqueness of this discovery is that it shows the places of residence in Galilee of the priestly courses, places presumably resettled by Jews after the Great Jewish Revolt under Hadrian. Since 2000, the site of Caesarea Maritima is included in the tentative list of World Heritage Places of the UNESCO, a rare, colorful mosaic bearing an inscription in Greek, dating from the 2nd 3rd century CE, was uncovered at 2018 in the Caesarea National Park. It is one of the few extant examples of mosaics from the time period in Israel. 
According to the archaeologists, the mosaic measures 3.5 by 8 meters and is of a rare high quality comparable to that of Israel's finest examples. References Joseph Patrick. Caesarea in the time of Eusebius. In S. Inawatsky, C. Z. Magni. Eds. Reconsidering Eusebius, Collected Papers on Literary, Historical, and Theological Issues 2011, 1-24. Lehman, Clayton Miles, Holm, Kenneth G. 2002. The Greek and Latin Inscriptions of Caesarea Maritima. University of Michigan. ISBN 978-0897570282. Rabin, Avner, Holm, Kenneth G. Caesarea Maritima, A Retrospective After Two Millennia. Leiden, Brill. ISBN 978-90-04-10378-8. Texts on Wikisource Vele, S. Caesarea Palestinae. Catholic Encyclopedia. McAllister, R. A. Stewart. Caesarea Palestina. Encyclopedia Britannica, 4, 11th ed. p. 943. Caesarea Palestina. New International Encyclopedia, 1905. External links Media related to Caesarea Maritima at Wikimedia Commons Jewish Encyclopedia, Caesarea by the Sea PBS Frontline, Caesarea Maritima Archaeology of Caesarea Photo Gallery of Caesarea Maritima Photo Gallery of Caesarea Maritima Gavriel Solomon, Caesarea National Park, Conservation Maintenance, Israel Antiquities Authority Site, Conservation Department